tell us about the D8 that got lost up in Alaska. Well, it got lost in the swamp. Uh, we were building a road out to a uh, gun emplacement, and we run into some kind of a real bog, and the guy that was pushing the dirt out in there got out too far and lost the whole damn thing clear down in that swamp hole. It sunk down in there, and they drove rods down to see how far it was down there, and it was about 15 or 20 feet. So they brought in a drag line to try and dig it out, and that didn't work. It just kept coming in. So the D8 still there as far as I know. And how old was that D8 when it got stuck? Well, that was a, a, probably a 45 model, 44 so somewhere in there. At the time, about eight or ten years old because yeah you were there when in the 50s yeah yeah and what were you doing up there in alaska we well the main thing we done is uh kept the uh, snow and stuff off the driveways and off of the airport runways and also done repair work on the equipment during the winter in the shop so you ran a lot of d8s up there in alaska yes i run all them d8s in there it was the cans and also with the dozers and a cable dozer too and then we had the cable before we got the hydraulic and we finally got one with the hydraulic dozer and it worked a lot better than the cable so a little improvement sure helps and what was your job up there my job was mainly to maintain uh, some of the equipment and stuff if, if it needed repairing and also to keep the snow out of the depot yard, which I used the D8 and a can, 15-yard can, to haul the snow and pile it on a pile. And I had a, at the end of the winter, I had a pile of snow about, uh, I'd say, 200 feet long and about 30 feet high. And, and you were up there as a combat engineer during the Korean conflict. That's right. That's right. 38th Engineers. 38th Engineers. Really cool patch, a polar bear. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. <laughs>